Thanks to Night mm, Day. Don't fight it. It's time to go up a size. This is the biggest, the biggest, the biggest. This is the biggest. Our biggest show. The Hodaki Big Show. With Jason Hoyt, Mike Minogue and Keezy. Well, good day, yeah, man, Bass. It's great to have your company this Tuesday afternoon, the 28th of November, 2023. And you, my friends, are listening to The Big Show, brought to you by Night mm. Day. And I... I know I say this every day, Mogi, but when I look at you, I, one word comes to mind. Go on. Thoroughbred. Uh huh. Another word comes to mind. Stallion. Oh, nice. Are they all horse based? Um, just, For a reason. You're wearing your tidy whitey today, which is one of my favourites, actually. Sure. Uh, looking great, man. How's life? Going pretty grousy, you mad dog, you sick son of a bee, yeah. Uh, nice to see you've got your, your JCB cap on. Always, mate, always. Yeah. Um, it's but my yeah, security blanket. It's good to be alive, happy to be here. Look, I'm not saying that I'm counting down the days to Christmas like everybody else, but I'm, I think I'm counting down the days to Christmas like everybody else. Oh, mate, I'm not. I'm going to be gutted when Christmas is here. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, the big show is my life. Yeah. Uh, it's everything I hold dear I'll to me. I have a word you know? with the boss that so you can just work through. Would you? Yeah. Thanks, mate. Hey, Keezy, you mad. <laughs> you mad what? bastard. And you do, mate. And you hear do there. Oh, did you notice that, did oh, you? Oh, yeah. First thing I noticed, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, a new lid. New lid. Uh, I Sort of every three years, I try and change my lid around a wee bit. Well, uh, you, can't, you can't win them all, man. Yeah, yeah, sure. Oh. You win some, you lose some, Keezy. Totally. But I think I'm onto a winner here because I walked in today and Pugs, <laughs> massive grin on his face. He was like, yeah, definitely. That's good. That's good eating. That's what he said. But basically, I have a big frizzy hair, uh, hair sort of afro-like sure hair, do. naturally. Um, so I've decided to just let it go. You really have let it go, haven't you? She's unleashed. Yeah. Good I'm on you, man. Yeah, good Thanks, on you. fellas. I oh, know. Look, I'm looking at it and thinking, you know, kia kaha, man. I mean, good for you to just have the courage <laughs> to go there. You know what I'm saying? Thanks, Jace. <laughs> I'm sure we'll get more into this. Later in the show. We will. Hey, Keezy, I think you look great, mate. And t- t- speaking of the show. Chase, I think you look good. Yeah, thanks, man. Speaking of the show, big show coming up. We've got Sam from Shapeshifters coming in. Uh, I'm plagued by the motorcyclist again at 3 o'clock this sure. morning. There's, there's plenty to discuss, but let's kick it off with an absolute throbber. Green day. <laughs> the Hodaki Big Show podcast. Talking heads there on the radio. Uh, Hodaki Big Show this Tuesday afternoon. The time is, wait for it. Wait for it. 13 minutes past four o'clock, which means it's time for... The Big Poll. Very simple. It had to be this today. Keezy's new haircut, yes or no? Yeah, now uh, I understand this is going to be pretty tricky because we're on a radio show and no one can see my lid. Um, But we've chucked it up on Instagram. We're in the process of maybe chucking it on Facebook as well. And I just want to say, for the last... Honestly, what, 15 years of my life, I've been using hair products to keep my frizzy hair at bay. Buffon. My Buffon, as Jace keeps calling it. Um, I've decided to stop using hair product, let it go all frizzy on top, but have like a crisp fade yeah. on the um, back and sides there. And I walked in today, Kate from the office was like, oh, that's so cool. I love your hair. Yeah. Uh, mm. Todd, our boss, said no comment. Um, Pugs, big <laughs> grin on his face. He was yeah, like, yeah. He was yeah. cracking up. He was, yeah, no. Yeah, he was laughing he was like, his ass off. No, he wasn't. He was like, yeah, man, that's sick. He- and when I came home from the barber this morning, my wife said, I like your hair. Oh. I love it. Oh, she loves it. Oh, loves it. Yeah. And wow. then uh, Mike walked in. Oh, and- what about Jace? He was here first. Well, Jace walked in and said nothing because he doesn't yeah. look around or consider anyone else in the room he yeah whereas you walked in i was pointing at my lid to get it out the way mm. and you said holy <laughs> s word i actually thought you said you pointed at it and you said do you know what this is i what? think you said that something along those lines and i said is it a wig and you said no this is my hair this yeah. is my hair and you said normally i put product in it so i thought that you'd gone and had a haircut mm. and when you go to a barber you get a haircut and he says or she would you like some product in it? Would you like some product in it? Yeah. And I thought you'd said no, and that moving forward it would be yes. But this, no. is, this is you. This is it. Yeah, man. Good on you. What do you mean, good on you? <laughs> no, as I as I said on the intro there, um, you know, sometimes I, I think enough people need to step outside their comfort zone yeah. uh, and take a risk. 
and you I know, did. really and really push the envelope. And I and I admire you, as I say, Keezy, I admire you for having the courage. <laughs> Can you just admire the haircut? <laughs> uh, well, no, I'm I'm saying I admire the courage <laughs> right. that you had to go out there and get that particular haircut. Because I know when I'm sitting in the barber's <laughs> chair and I'm getting a shocker, you know. Sure. And you're sitting so there the and usual. you're watching and you're going, oh, God, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. And then they finish and they go, what do you reckon about? Oh, I love it. Thank you. Thank you. And then you walk out and you go, God damn it. Yeah. God damn it. Right. And you're grabbing the hair and you're trying to pull it out like it'll make it longer, but it won't. Yeah, totally. Oh, God. And, and, and it's funny too. So I've you, been there, Keezy, man. When you – when I mean, I'm sure it's – the same for all of us. When you're having a haircut and you're like mid-process, it's always shockingly bad. You look horrendous. I'm, you know what I mean? You're going, oh, my God. I this don't is, relate to this at all. This is an absolute travesty. <laughs> and I guess you got there at the end of it, Keezy. <laughs> but, um, well, sorry, Jace. Look, uh, I, if I could rock the same lid for 60 years like you have, then I would do that. But every yeah. now and then, I like to spice it up. Yeah, good sure. on you, man. Sure, maybe I went too spicy with it. I don't oh, know. No, I don't think so. You've got mostly you've got mostly fully endorsed for it. Yeah, yeah, It was yeah. just, and you admit this yourself, Keezy, it's a surprise. Yeah, it was a big it's surprise. A it's a change. It was a shock to you. Because it's like, it looks to people that don't know about my particular hair, mm. which is everyone, uh, it looks like I've gone out and got a perm. Yes. That's what it looks yes. like. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that was the first thing I thought was, <laughs> when I saw it, I thought, the oh, the old 70s perm yeah. is back. Um, <laughs> but no, it's just my natural hair. And people are texting in on 3483. They want photos. Uh, they're up on Instagram, Instagram. right now. Um, yeah. And we're working on getting it onto Facebook as well, if you don't have Insta. Having said that, Keezy, in terms of voting on Insta there, I'm going 95% loving it, Keezy, oh. um, because... I feel like you're taking the piss. Uh, no, I'm going 95%. Yes? Yes. For Keezy's new haircut? <sighs> yeah, I just know people put the boot into you, man, so I'm going to go 70% yes. Okay. Yeah. To be honest, I don't usually do a prediction, but I'm going to say, like, 70% no. Oh, really? Yeah. Nah, man. It's... If you say Kia Kaha... <laughs> <laughs> The Hodaki Big Show, weekdays at four on Radio Hodaki. Aero Smith here on the Radio Hodaki Big Show this Tuesday afternoon. The time is 24 minutes past four o'clock. Just a reminder, too, if you're listening uh, to us on the iHeartRadio app, feel free to send us a talk back. Just push the microphone then, and the, the message comes directly through to the studio. It That's does. right. You can record um, your voice there, and if it's good enough, we might even play it on the show too. So. Exactly, exactly. And remember, everyone that texts in on 3483 or gives us a talk back or calls us on 0800 Hodaki goes in the draw to win a $50 night mm. day voucher. Now, uh, Mogi, you'll recall um, that I've been pestered. I've been uh, frustrated by a rogue motorcyclist in my neighbourhood yeah. who's been... Um, Driving around the place at riding around the place, uh, yeah, riding yeah. around the place at godly hours, i.e., one, two, three o'clock in the morning. Now, right. Keezy, I don't think you're up on what's going on here. No. It's obviously some kind of makeshift vehicle, right? Uh, because it is fiercely loud, and I can hear it. There it is, here. That is not what I thought wait, it was going to sound like. It's like a go kart. It, yeah, it's it's a ridiculous vehicle, That's right? Wait for the little. Duh, 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 duh. <laughs> Come on. Okay. There you go. And the thing about it, Keezy, is I can hear it from, like, streets and streets away. Right. And it starts up and I go, oh, you. F-. And it always goes right above my driveway and around our sort of neighbourhood, does a couple of circuits and goes back. And as I say, it happens at, like, one, two, three o'clock in the morning. Happened again. That very noise that you just heard yeah. happened again this morning. And I was enraged. Yeah. I was so enraged that I got up, threw off the duvet in my tidy whities ran up to the, the road. Streak up the uh, I, 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 I set myself <laughs> up for that because I knew, I knew you were going to say that. So you and went up my, to the road. In my tidy <laughs> whities and saw him going past. And it's, it is some go-karty kind of contraption. Yeah. Uh, and I was. Is it? Yes, I was effing 
and Jeff and picture if you will. Hoity J and his tidy whities on the nah, street. Good. 3 a.m. in the morning, massive skid mark down the <laughs> back there. Just raging, effing but- and jeffing at him as he goes down the street. And, of course, as you can imagine in that scenario, I wake the neighbourhood up because I've had a booming voice. I was trained in the theatre. <laughs> you know, and all of a sudden, <laughs> cur- <laughs> curtains are opening, lights are going on, you know, people are peering out their windows. What's this cacophony? And, of course, I was oblivious to all of that. But it was only after I noticed the people doing that that I realised I also had a full mongrel. Yeah. Well, like, yeah. Because I was having a dream at that point, and when I woke up, and she was raging. Who was? Uh, my, my mongrel. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, I, and I... <laughs> Geez, I wouldn't be surprised if people were taking pics and stuff because I imagine it was quite a sight. But I'd had enough. I mean, so, yeah. I don't, I don't know what I was looking to achieve in that. Why scenario. didn't you just call the cops? Well, because by the time I call the cops, it's West Auckland, Keezy. The cops don't come out unless no, there's a no, murder. But because uh, I live in West Auckland as well, I hear all sorts of burnout stuff going on. But you're also someone who you've got a sore back, you won't go to a physio. There's someone driving around the neighbourhood. You could call the cops. They could probably solve it for you, but you won't do it. You'd rather walk out with a, mo- a half mongrel and no, a full sh- skid stain. Um, but listen, but what? I don't know when it's going to happen. And so he, it happens all in the space of like five minutes. Yeah. And then he's gone again. Right. He's like the phantom, isn't he? He is the phantom. I mean, one of the things that uh, we've got a text here on 3483. Somebody said you could uh, tie some number eight wire between two lampposts across the road. <laughs> yes. I've thought about it. I've thought about it. Does my head in, man. Did you read the one, the top text here? Uh, <laughs> Get the spike strips out, Hoity J, or let them use your massive honker as a ramp and propel them to the moon. See, I don't think that I don't think that deserves a 51 night and day voucher. I actually I quite think like, it does. Yeah, I, I, I quite like that one. Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Cold War Kids there on the radio. Hodaki Big Show this uh, Tuesday afternoon. For those of you that are interested, by the way, the uh, cricket test match, New Zealand versus Bangladesh, has started. Bangladesh batting first four without loss, but it looks like a big appeal from uh, Jamison. No, it looks like an inside bit edge. Bit of an inside edge, yeah. yeah right? uh, but great. He's looking good uh, first up in his first bowling stint in a long while. Hey, guys. Um, oh, Keezy, can I get the men's health sting, please? This is men's health. Men's health. <sighs> men's health. Oh, God. Yeah, I mean, in it. your own time, okay. Keezy. Uh, men's health. I mean, no, we got, I mean, we can just watch the cricket. I mean, it's all good. Uh, look, I'll just plough on, and next time we'll just be a bit snappier about men's it. But health. anyway, um, so as you guys know, um, I've been dealing with a health issue late, lately, and it's been for the last few months, um, and that is that I've got a hairy downstairs. Well, hang on. That's not a health issue. <laughs> That well, is not it can be issue. easy. It can well, be a very is. serious Have one. Have you seen how hairy it is? No, I've course Okay, I all right. And you don't get to minimise what I say is a health issue. Totally. We're meant to be encouraging men to speak more about their health issues, and I will not have you damning me on national radio, all right? Well, so sorry. if you can't say anything nice, Keezy, all right? Okay, I'll say something Especially nice. when you're running a hairdo like that. <laughs> Uh, sorry, so I Mike, went, what were you saying? I went along today to have another session, and uh, um, what you have to do, I'll let you in on a little secret here, the night before you have to um, you have to shave your downstairs, so, um, so that's, hang on a minute, Keezy, um, and so that means you have to get your electric razor out, you have to run that across, um, and now I don't want to get too graphic here, sure. but let me just say the shaft and the bullos. And the bikini side Is it an electric razor? It is an electric one. And then you follow that up with a... So it sounds like Jace's motorbike? Yeah. And then you follow it up with a, you know, a Gillette Mark II or something like that. Yeah. Up and down, up and down, up and down. And then uh, I went in there today and I've sort of been having an issue because when I go in there, generally this laser stuff, Jason, you'll know this, it's generally women's play this sort of thing. Right. And men don't get involved in it. Sure. But when I've been going in there, what's been happening is there's been uh, the women that have been sort of, you know, have, have to do it, it's their job. <laughs> <laughs> Can I say they do not get paid oh, enough? They don't look thrilled and it's like 9.15 on a Tuesday. Is that really what, how you want to start your day? <laughs> My guess is no. Old Mogi. Um, but these young, you know, early 20s, these women, and they've got their whole lives in front of them, man. And I, you know, I feel bad for them that they have to deal with it. But today, I got a woman who was probably in her mid fifties. Oh, there we go. Yeah, you now you're talking. And I felt so much better because she's, you know, there's nothing she hasn't seen at this point. True. Um, and so got in there, and yeah, she was. Um, yeah, it was like, have you ever seen somebody making a drum and they sort of stretch the um, 
this a, like a bongo drum. Yeah, like they stretch it over. The, yeah, she was like hanging off it. Yeah, and really doing an incredible job. And so, yeah, that's made a world of difference. I don't have a, a, the shame that I used to have before when I went in there. Yeah, and I got to say that the uh, the young woman on reception looked stoked to be just at the computer. Yeah, yeah, just tapping away. Yeah, yeah. all she had to do was rebook me. So have you have you requested the same person for next time? Um, I think she's been locked into the role, so she's just going room to room, just um, yeah, blasting away there. But it is funny; they do look like um, they do look like baby sparrows, eh? Yeah, yeah. Well, when they're real alien like, and that they haven't got any feathers yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah, sitting in their nest. There. And is that? Yeah. <laughs> Did you get it? Can you get like a fade? Oh yeah, I was for a Kesey. <laughs> Do not associate my head with your downstairs. All right? Can I get a Kesey? <laughs> it's Snoop Dogg, the Hodaki Big Show podcast. REM there on the radio. Uh, Hodaki Big Show this Tuesday afternoon, Bangladesh thirteen without loss in the first test against New Zealand. Now coming up after five o'clock, we've got Sam from Shapeshifter uh, coming in to have a bit of a chit chat. Uh, a new a double, single, yeah, new single and, and a double pass. To give away, I believe that's right. It's one of the concerts. Um, also, Keezy asks his wife if he can get Lego for uh, Christmas and the, the ensuing debacle. Yeah, all that after five o'clock. The Hodaki Big Show podcast. Catch them weekdays from four on Radio Hodaki. Welcome back, you massive backbones. Hope your Tuesday's going along very nicely. Indeed, I've got to tell you, Mogi, it's bloody nice having a bit of test cricket back on. It really is, man. I, I love I, it. Yeah, I can do without the shorter format at this stage it feels like yes. I've had my fill for the year already so yeah I'm stoked about a few tests especially at 4.30 man yeah, yeah. same Woo. here fellas so good I know you love your cricket Keezy yeah. yeah especially test cricket yeah it's the best it's the best you're in luck. Incidentally, uh, Bangladesh at the moment, 20 without loss. I just want to remind people, too, this show's brought to you by night. Mm. And all the people that text in on 3483 or send us talkbacks or give us a call on 0800 uh, Hodaki. Go on the draw to win a $50 night. Mm, Day voucher. Not you, though, Chris. Um, old Haughty Joe's furious at oh, you. Oh, the guy who yeah, sent the, the talk back. Yeah, the talk back. Yeah. Can yeah. I just say you might want to get involved by texting 3483 or talkbacking us by downloading iHeartRadio uh, because the big show in Night and Day, who, by the way, make the best milkshakes, thick shakes, and super thick shakes. Yeah. yeah. In yeah, Aotearoa. They do. They do, they do yeah. mate. You know those big giraffe ones? The longest shake in yeah, town. No, yeah. they don't make those ones. Oh, don't they? They just make night and day ones. No. Oh. Mm-hmm. But aren't they in the big giraffe <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Oh. no, they're not. Oh, no. oh, okay. They're still good, though. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, I know they are. I just yeah. thought they did. I just yeah. thought they did. No, they hey, uh, coming up, Keezy, absolutely fuming. Yeah, don't yeah, exaggerate. Maybe, about not being able to buy Lego for Christmas. <laughs> When you say it like that, I sound like a massive loser. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. And the song's called Loser. Yeah. Good stuff, fellas. The Hodaki Big Show. Weekdays at four on Radio Hodaki. ACDC there on the Radio Hodaki Big Show. The time is uh, 12 minutes past five o'clock. Uh, fellas, Christmas is on the horizon. Is it? Uh, um, yeah, it's coming up, Jace. Uh, just under a month to go. And we do a thing in Old my... Oh, calendar keys, they yeah, call Yeah, reckon. <laughs> totally. Uh, um, we do a thing in my household where we buy each other presents. Oh, God. You know, Christmas presents, we call them. You put them under the tree, you unwrap them on Christmas Day, and it's really nice. Um, we also do a thing where we go, what do you want for Christmas this year? We just ask, is there something you really want? Sure. Um, so I know that my wife really wants a squash racket. My, my wife. wife. Uh, and she's like, what do you want? And I, to be honest, there's nothing I really need or anything. So I've said- You need a haircut. So I've said that uh, I spotted while I was away travelling through Duty Free and that there was a really cool Lego set, right? Lego, like the kids' toy, Lego, where you can build a 60s fastback Ford Mustang. It's, like, realistic. It's quite large. It's very detailed. And as a cool car, you know, because I'm into cars now, I'm pretty cool. Um, I was like, that's actually a really cool thing for me to get. And then I saw that you can build a Corvette, Series 1 Corvette, Jace, your favourite, um, and a Z28 Camaro as well. I... Well, no, you go, mate. Well, I was just going to say, man. I think it's, I think it's good. Yeah, yeah. Well, because you've got your truck now, and it'd be nice for you to have another project with your dad, so you can watch him build that too. What the Lego? Totally, totally. And, and <laughs> my truck is not made no, out of Lego. It's a real truck. And I have um, some real sympathy for you, actually, Keezy, yeah, in terms sh- of wanting. No, well, just because 
Like, what? I know that you had a, a you were a sickly kid. <laughs> If you mention the word nebulizer, I'm not going to, you know, and that you spent a lot of time in your room with your Lego and you have a real connection with it. Just little I nebulizer still- keysy there <laughs> Just- playing with this Lego. So, no, I get, I get the emotional connection, the there hours and hours that you missed of school playing with your Lego and stuff. So I get it. I get yeah, it so, and so what's happened is uh, my wife literally said, I'm not buying you Lego. There's no way in hell I'm buying you Lego. You're a grown-up. Well, it's the only thing she could say, realistic. Whereas I'm yeah, like, yes. no, I've got everything. I just want to build this realistic uh, fastback Ford Mustang. It's cool. It's like a muscle car. So we're going to put but that after. Dad got that kind of time, man. No, Dad's not. Don's not going to build it for me, Mike. And I'm he's build always it. struck me, Mogi, to be honest. And you've met him too. Yeah, it's very much a man's man. He's a backbone. And, and I can't see him, you know, you know, do 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 <laughs> playing with Lego. You know what I mean? On oh, the carpet Dad, oh, Dad, there. I think this is a wheel. Yeah. Good boy, little Keezy. <laughs> Good boy, little Keezy. Yeah, that's what Dad used to uh, Actually, this has triggered a, a vivid memory I've got. I was in hospital getting oh, the front oh, Keezy. God. God, that was shocking. <laughs> <laughs> it is impossible to tell a story here. I was in hospital, right? I was 10, and I was getting... <laughs> oh, God. Just stuck in the Hang on. I was getting my adenoids out because... <laughs> Because I kept getting ear aches. <laughs> <laughs> and as, <laughs> as part of the recovery, my dad bought me a Lego set to build while I was in the hospital. <laughs> How far through it did you get? Yeah, I built it. Oh, God. Oh, you see, and that's why, <laughs> that's why I get it, Keezy. You yes. know what I mean? And so um, what do you, I want to know, what does New Zealand think? Am I, I'm 32. Am I too old to be getting Lego, even though it's a sick, you know, Mustang? And I've got that spiritual connection with it. You know what I mean? <sighs> so three, four, eight, three. Let me know what you think. A hundred percent. Totally, man. <laughs> You've got tears in your eyes, Jess. <laughs> that, that annoyed's got me. Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Weezer there on the radio. Hodaki uh, Big Show. If you're just joining us, uh, Bangladesh 28 without loss in the first test, first session. No wickets. So good. Jamison bowling well, though. Uh, previous to that, Keezy was talking about how he wants his wife to uh, buy him Lego for Christmas. Yeah. Uh, how much is this Lego, incidentally, Keezy? So w- that's that's a that's neither here nor there as far as I'm concerned. Now, how Jay. much is it? Well, okay, well, hang on. The listeners need to know that um, it's, a Ford, it's a fastback Ford Mustang from the 60s, uh, realistic, massive model. Uh, you can put a supercharger on it if you want. You can put a uh, side. I don't see how realistic it can be if it's Lego. Oh, no, I know. No. Yeah, it's... Um, Look like Lego, does it? Yeah, obviously, yeah, yeah. but when you s- sort of stand back from it, it looks sure. like a Mustang after you've built it. Where would you put it? Looks, it looks like a pixelated real Mustang. Eh? That's right. Yes, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Where, where would you? Where do you envisage this being in your house? So I would put it on our bookcase. You're going to put it in your treehouse? On your bookcase? <laughs> I, don't your book tree, case? Yeah, I don't have a treehouse, Moogie. Although, I, honestly, a treehouse with Lego in it would be cool. What are you saying, bookcase? You said, a, oh, I'm, a, book. I'm thinking of putting it on our bookcase. I'm putting it in my bookcase, Jace. You steamed, Keezy. <laughs> uh, but my wife was like, well, you're not putting any Lego in our bookcase. We've my got, wife. I've got, my wife. I've got a whole heap of like vases and bowls we never use, but they look nice. So I'm not yeah. allowed to put any Lego on there. No. So what I'd probably do is build it, look at Did it for a while. Vases. Yes, I did, Jace. Um, but what I'd probably do is build it, look at it, say that's cool, and then pull it all apart, put it all back in the box, so that in like a month's time I could pull it out and rebuild it. Uh, but to answer your question, Jace, it's three hundred dollars. No, oh, yeah, I think it's fine. Um, a lot of support coming through on the text machine three four eight three. By the way, uh, bro, I'm forty seven. I still buy and build Lego. That's yeah. from an absolute legend, by the sounds of it. Uh, in Jeremy's his house. Jeremy <laughs> says, "I'm with you, Keezy." Uh, Lego is pretty much primarily for men age 22 to 50 at this point. Do whatever you want. Keezy, someone here wants to know if the Lego car is two-stroke. Um, you're all good, Keezy. I'm 32. I have that Mustang. Just finished it last week. Go hard, boy. Yeah, boy. Why don't you buy it off him? No, I want a new one. And interestingly, 
I want a new one. Of course, there was that Lego show that went great guns, didn't it? Oh, Die Henwood's one. Was that uh, the one that I went to? Lego Masters. Oh, oh you mean Lego, the TV show? Yeah, TV yeah. show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So and that, Aussie that, as well. That'd be like the dream gig for me, actually, but getting on that show somehow. Um, someone here says, if Jace at 43 still has poo stains, then Keezy can play with Legos at 32. Oh, right. yeah, true. Yeah. So, so that's all good. No poo stains. Yeah, right. Um, so to be honest, I'm getting a lot of support here, so I think I should be allowed to get Lego for Keezy, Christmas. if you want it, mate, you should ask for it. And then it's just up to your missus whether she wants to buy it for you. And well, that, she doesn't. That's the issue. She doesn't. Yeah, yeah, She's yeah, like, yeah. I'm not buying it for you. Right. The, the, the issue that I have, 26, 27-year marriage, is when my wife says to me, what do you want for Christmas? Is like, I don't know. Yeah. And she's like, neither. Wash my hat. Uh, get a, can you get a new hat, yeah, by could, the way? No, I love this hat. I'd get a night and day hat. It fits me well. <laughs> yeah, it right. Fit, well, if, if night and day's got hats, I'll definitely wear a night and day hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so this is the thing. is I know what I want. She's asked me what I want. It's always yeah. a tricky thing. I've said I want this. I'm getting her something of relatively similar value. Um, but she said, no, I'm not getting you that. Right. What are you getting here? Squash racket. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah, so there's all the jewellery gone. Yeah. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's a squash racket. And then old Keezy in his jammies. <laughs> Building his little yeah, Lego cre- there. Yeah. Just, can I do it now, Mum? Can I do it now? Hey, Just New wait, Zealand. Just little Keezy. New Just Zealand. as he's unpacking, he's, Guess he's who's... pushing out his flannel with his <laughs> full mongrel. Guess, <laughs> I, d- I did not have a full mongrel at that age. Uh, New Zealand coming up next. We've got uh, Sam from Shapeshifter coming in to play a brand new tune. Also, he's got a double pass to give away to their gig in Whangamataa over summer. <laughs> good times, good times. <laughs> The Hodaki Big Show, weekdays at four on Radio Hodaki. God, I love a bit of Ben Harper, Mogi. You always have, <laughs> brother, you always have. You know, especially because of you know, the summer vibe that yeah. he brings. You yeah, know, yeah, just yeah. chilled, slow, kind of. Yeah, speaking of. Hey, speaking of great tunes and great musicians, guess what, fellas? We've got Sam from Shapeshifter here. Sam, you mad bastard, how's life? Oh, it's bloody good. Yeah, it's man. Pretty good. Do you love Ben Harper? I do. Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. I was playing some on the guitar the other day, and uh, my girlfriend told me I was playing it wrong. And oh, because you're know. a big. Did you take that, man? I I did because she's good. She on plays you, mate. a good guitar. Does she? Yeah, yeah. 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 What, what, what were you playing? Steal my kisses from you. No. Or diamonds on the inside. No, no, no. Or one no. of the good ones. <laughs> no. <laughs> are you, uh, so, are you saying your, your your girlfriend's really good on the guitar? Is she yeah. quite musical like you? She is. Hey, no, what's going on, <laughs> Sam? What have you guys been up to? Well, um, I've just relocated to Christchurch, which is a massive uh, undertaking. And uh, I was going to say disappointment. <laughs> no, Christchurch is awesome. <laughs> oh, We're about right. to see great. No, Where I are you moving Christchurch. to? Uh, uh, Brighton. Oh, on, out on the by east the beach. Side, baby. Yeah, Windy. Yeah. It's windy. Yeah. It's windy everywhere, man. It Look is. outside. It's windy, man. It's windy. Um, had a baby. Number one. Yeah. How, uh, how yeah. old's the baby? And is it what kind of a baby? What flavor did you get? We got a little boy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Eight months old. Loving life. Yeah, you man. Know. What he is or you are or both? We both are. We all yeah, are yeah. loving life. Yeah. You know, when we get sleep and all that stuff. Have you Everyone noticed that it's a side? change, man? Have you noticed that it's a bit of a change? People tell oh, you that, yeah. don't they? It's a bit of a change. Oh, a bit of a change, big time. But you know, still, uh, still writing music and you know, enjoying, enjoying life, and you know, just add another ball to the yeah. to the juggle. Totally, man. And I mean, how do you find that in terms? Of, because as Maggie said, that does change your life having kids mm. um, massively. Is it? Has it kind of inspired you a little bit more to get back into your music and, and, yeah, and get go out hard? on tour? Yeah. Get, do that? <laughs> yeah, go touring? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I asked my friend about that actually before I had a kid. He's like, I was like, how do you find leaving home when you've got a kid? And he's like, it's awesome. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> going on tour. Yeah, but, totally. Um, but no, it's definitely, it's motivating, you know, because you just gotta you just got to get it done. Yeah, you know? does, it, totally. does it still motivate you to write bangers? Like oh, yeah. Shapey's bangers, you oh, know? Oh, yeah, big time. Really? Having yeah. kids? Except for it's not about like being cool and stuff, it's about raising kids. <laughs> <laughs> having kids having, is cool, yeah, kids. It, yeah. Is, yeah. <laughs> it is, man. I haven't I haven't um written a song about um raising kids yet, but um Yeah, It'll no, come, it's, Sam. it's there's a fire, you know. There's yeah, a fire yeah. underneath. That, that already there sounds good. Before. That sounds good what you, you know just what said. I mean? yeah. Totally, man. Um because it can go you know, it can go two ways, I'll be honest with you. It can it can inspire you, or it can you know it can go the other way and not yeah. inspire you. Yeah. Um, but yeah, 
Jace has got four daughters. I've got four daughters. Jeez. He's a broken man. Um, <laughs> but, well, fortunately, they inspired me to work harder, actually, genuinely. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so that's good. Oh, that's really hey, now nice. tell, us, tell us about this song we're about to play of yours, recently released. Yeah, On Your Side. Um, that was written a couple of years ago and probably a bit more of a deeper one, a bit more of a like a buzzy one. Sure. Yeah. Um, kind of got sort of it's in a groove i would say right yeah it's so, not it's not like a um a massive throbber <laughs> we have it's, a, it's, we, it's, it's not, not a fireworks a, display it's more like a a ride right beauty you know? sounds like my kind of tune this yes. yes. should we have a listen to it shall yes. we? Yes. he said buzzy i was like yeah jace is pretty buzzy so <laughs> oh here you go shapeshifter hey, buzzy the hodaki big show podcast yeah that was some ride sam I Feel love that. that, man. That's good tune. Oh, what is, yes. On Your Side by Shapeshifter. Brand new. Yeah, brand new, man. Brand new. Hey, now listen, man. We're heading into summer. Mm. Uh, obviously, you guys are going to be touring. Where, whereabouts are you going? What's happening? Playing uh, in Taranaki at Rock the Bowl. Oh, Taranaki yeah. gets good gigs, man. Yeah, Rock the Bowl. I mean, like, Bowl of Brooklyn's is an epic spot. Yeah. If you've never been there, um, check it out. Garden's right next door. It's uh, spiritual. Mm. Yeah. Sure, man. Jace, man. you're all about that. Yeah, totally. I'm Can totally I just ask, spiritual. when are we getting a new album, man? And also, second question, what's taking so long, man? <laughs> it <laughs> always takes a long question, time. Can you hurry up, man? It always takes a long time. <laughs> yeah, it does. Good things take time. You, they know, do. you, can't, you can't rush these things. If you're rushing that, and uh, you're probably not doing it right. You know what yeah. I mean? So, yeah, we're, we're writing away and, and um, you know, finding that juice and, you know, that all takes time. But have, how, how has it changed over the years? Because when you first released, you, you know, your first album, you're all together, you know, but as a band mm. gets older, mm. they're all dispersing mm. and they've all got kids and, you know, yeah. is that getting trickier or? Well, we haven't lived in the same city for like 19 years. Wow. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So we sort of learned to do that. A quite, long time ago. Yeah, quite early on. Yeah. And so what happens is it's quite cool. You find places to do things and people travel and it sort of creates a special atmosphere and it's not just like oh, really? the day-to-day thing. Like you'll meet up somewhere. Like a batch or something in a cool spot? Yeah, we do that. Mm. Or, or you go to um, the respective member's house where they have a room to write music and mm. you know it's a different environment for you and they get an opportunity to host and you get an opportunity to sort of focus or whatever and, and it's all always something fresh so mm. i suppose that's that's how that works um yeah and everyone's just sort of chipping away on on their ideas did you say chipping or tripping Ooh. <laughs> well no I, I, I think you said tripping but i think you meant chipping i think you said I meant, chipping I meant, oh I meant you said chipping, chipping. And you okay said chipping. and i yeah. thought you said tripping yeah yeah, 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 yeah. No, i said chipping but you know you, you but could be tripping. Jace hears sam, what he wants to hear sam because actually in all seriousness i think that that would be a really good thing a real positive in terms of you know going to a, your mate's mm. place and, and going around the place because you know it can get a bit we're in the studio here every day we love getting out to different environments yeah, don't yeah. we fellas and, and in fact we're always at jace's we, house we we always <laughs> We've sort of, you know, old uh, Keezy wants to live in Christchurch. Old Mogi probably wants to live in Wally. I want to live in Auckland. We've we've contemplated doing the show with all three of us in different cities. Hey, fellas. Yeah, and the bosses are like, nah. <laughs> yeah, they said, yeah. no, yeah. <laughs> no, we're not going to do it. Um, we are talking to Sam from Shapeshifter. We just heard the new tune, On Your Side. However, uh, there's nothing more New Zealand, Sam, um, and I've done this about four times, actually, uh, than seeing Shapies and Coromandel over that sort of summer New Year period, you know? Mm. Um, you guys are playing in Whangamata at the beach break on the 5th of Jan. You guys, Ocean Alley, my baby, Messiah, Flaxies, mm. Shapies and Flaxies together there. Uh, I seem to always see you in terms of festivals. Shapies mm. is always like a headline act at the big Kiwi festivals. Do you mm. guys enjoy that? Oof. Of course, yeah, you know, yeah it's, it's like amazing. gets to ten, and then Shapies comes on. Yeah, it's amazing. It's, it's do you the, lord the it over feeling. the other band? Do you go, hey, <laughs> fellas, where the where the headliners? Oh, what time are you playing? Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh, the right. sun's still out. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know you don't, you don't. You guys don't strike me like that at all. Um, just on that Fungamata uh, gig, I believe we've got a double pass to give away. That's right. If you would like a double pass to go see uh, Beach Break once again, Fungamata Friday the fifth of June. In the summer period, there, then text us 3483 your favourite Shapies tune and who you'd take with you because it's a double pass and we'll do a bit of a lucky dip after this. Yeah, great stuff. Hey, Sam, it's been great having you in the studio, mate. And congratulations on the little one. That's awesome. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, um, thanks, baby. And enjoy the, enjoy the summer and, and all your gigs around the place. 
Yeah, mate. You going to come along? Oh, I'll be in Tassie oh. on in, on that day. When's the other one? When's one in Christchurch? Taranaki. Oh, Taranaki, sorry. Taranaki is 29th of December, and we're playing uh, Electric Have in Christchurch in February. So. Oh, that'll yeah, be Jace. Yeah, 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 we'll get him yeah. to that one. Yeah. Definitely one of those, man. <laughs> yeah. Definitely Let's one go. of those. <laughs> the Hodaki Big Show, weekdays at four on Radio Hodaki. Queen David Bowie there uh, on the Radio Hodaki Big Show. Keep those tickets coming, <coughs> by the way, on 3483 if you want that double pass. That's oh, right. Yeah. If you want to go see uh, Shapies and a whole heap of other bands play Funga Matar, January 5th, then text through your favourite Shapies song and who you take with you, and we'll be doing a lucky dip shortly. Very good day. Are you going to do any gigs over some of them, Mogi? Have you, uh, have you highlighted any? Uh, there's a ton, ton sort of coming up. There's Queens of the Stone Age. Which I'll be going to. Yes. Uh, I, I think I will go to that. Yeah. And live. Um, I used to love live when I was younger. Mm. Um, They're a bit cheesy now. Well, even they, they got cheesy pretty quick back oh, then. They, they okay. just took themselves super seriously. But yeah, I'll be going to anything I can. Yeah. Absolutely everything I can. You and Pugs? Me and Pugs, mate, yep. Yeah. Damn. Mano a mano. So I guess, Jace, we've got to look at some uh, concerts and lock some in. Yeah, well, I locked in that Ranui one. The one at the library at yeah, 10 a.m. Yeah, on Sunday. Yeah, 10.45 actually, Keezy. Christmas, okay. And yeah, it's Christmas that, carols. That's BYO Thermos as well, so you can you can take a thermos of tea or oh, coffee, I, any hot drink. I think they actually do have some Insta oh. there, oh. Mogi. Yeah, yeah, but um, you have to bring your own hot water. Right. So, you, yeah, you do have to bring a thermos. Sounds like hey, rock and roll. Um, coming up after 6 o'clock, of course, the results of the Big Show Big Poll. Go and vote on that if you haven't. Keezy's new haircut, yes or no. <laughs> um, plus, of course, what's on the TV with Mike Minogue. The Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Catch them weekdays from four on Radio Hodaki. Welcome back, you massive backbones. Hope your Tuesday night's going uh, very nicely on the podcast outro today, the podcast we do outside of the radio show. Sometimes tends to be a bit more R18, sometimes a bit more personal, sometimes a bit more filthy. Uh, sometimes quite sedate and pleasant. It varies. Sometimes quite informative. And today on the podcast outro, I think there was a lot of lid chat. Oh, it was haircut based. Yeah, I think yeah. so. That's right. So if you haven't heard, I got a slightly different haircut. Um, it's quite buffy. Uh, and we've got photos up on the Instagram and Facebook. You can make your decision. But it was basically 10 minutes of Mike and Jay slamming my haircut. <laughs> It is funny how you feel about it yourself compared to how other people feel about it because I feel like your hair always looks tidy. Oh, all the time. It never looks. It never looks really? long or messy. One hundred percent. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. No, you got good. I can't good even hair. imagine you with messy hair. No. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Yeah. Um, you always got that filthy JCB hair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. The uh, Hodaki Big Show podcast outro daily bonus content. You can get it by searching Hodaki Big Show wherever you get your podcasts from, fellas. Yeah. Yeah. And just on that, um, it is your last opportunity now to vote on Keezy's um, hairdo. Yes. Uh, so go to the Instagram account and check it out. That's right. Vote on the story there, and we'll be doing the big poll next. <laughs> Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Yeah, man, Nick Cave in the bad seats. Like it. That's a tune. That is a tune. tune. Hey, but right now it's time for The Big Pole. Ba, ba. Today the question was, Keezy's new hairdo, yes or no? That's right. Uh, if you want to see a photo of it for some reason, Facebook, check out the Radio Hodaki Facebook page or the Hodaki Big Show's Instagram page where Pugs has chucked it up alongside a photo of a llama. Yep. Um, Very similar looking dudes. Met what, me and the llama? Yes. Right. Uh, so... The voting is done on the Hodaki Big Show's Instagram story. Your prediction, Jace, was... 95% yeah, baby. 70% yeah from old Mogi. I said 70% no. You did. Because I know how people are. Uh, Keezy's new haircut, 44% yes. 56% no. So more than half of New Zealand says no to my new haircut. Mm. So what am I supposed to do with that? Do I have to change it now? Oh, it's too late for that. No, I mean... As, as uh, Mogi was saying in the podcast today, uh, Keezy, as, as long as you're okay with it. Well, I was. Um, you know, that's all that matters. <laughs> yeah. And you've got to have just the confidence in yourself. Once again, um, I did. Um, yeah. um, you know, and, and just hold on to that, mate. Yeah. So, And don't, the last thing you need to do is walk in, 
into a room or walk into the you know in the street or whatever and think about the travesty on their head <laughs> because that's just going to make you self conscious. Don't yeah. do that. You like it. That's all that matters. Yeah. Thank you. Um, and don't listen to the people that are saying stuff behind your back either. I won't have it. Are they doing that? Oh wow. It's inevitable. Right. Yeah. Um, People get jealous, Keezy. Yeah, yeah. true, yeah. man. I mean, not of this, but generally they do. Yeah, oh. yeah. <laughs> well, because I, I was saying when I walked in today, Pug's big smile on his face, nodding, how are he you, man? He couldn't believe it. That's sick. Couldn't believe his luck. He yeah. was like, that's nice, man. Uh, Kate, he just thought content. Content. No, he was content. He was genuinely pretty impressed by it. Um, he's a dude with a sick lid himself, so I trust what he has to yes, say. Yes, that's true. Um, Kate in the office thought I'd had a perm, uh, but it's just my natural wavy hair. Do you mm. want to know where I got the idea for this haircut? Oh, go you, on! Take us in the into the mind of a I, psychopath. Yeah, ideas for haircuts. Yeah, well, because I have buffy hair and I hate doing it. And I was watching a TV show and a person on there had a buffy hairdo and a fade. And I was like, oh, I could probably do that with my hair. Right. Yeah. Oh, you can't be right a hundred percent of the time. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, that's what makes us grow is you make mistakes and you and you learn from them. You yeah. know what I mean? Do you want another TV show? Oh, God. Yeah, go on. Celebrity Treasure Island. Who was it? The host, Jaden. Oh, yeah, yeah. It looks good on him. It looks, yeah, it looks really good on Jaden, isn't it? Actually, I thought that when I watched the show for the first, the thing I liked most about the show was Jaden's hairdo. <laughs> but you're absolutely right, actually, Keezy. Yeah. And if, if you'd always had this haircut, yeah. then I probably would have, you know, not ever thought about it. Yeah, yeah, You yeah. know? Yeah. yeah, yeah. We'll see as time goes on. I think we'll get used to it, Jase. Yeah, I think so. Well. The Hodaki Big Show Podcast. Yes, indeed. Soundgarden there on the radio. Hodaki Big Show this Tuesday afternoon. Let's get into a bit of tally chat, why don't we? What's on the tally with Mike Minogue? Yeah! Yeah! Uh, You butchered it again, Keys. No, I didn't. You... Hey, Pugs. Can you not tattoo Pugs, with that? Can you that? come in here, mate? Yeah, Pugs. We're just going to show you yeah, how it's done. Yeah, yeah. Can you just Can you turn on that? his mic can there, you do please? That sting again for us, mate. Yeah. What's on the telly with Mike Minogue? Thanks, Pugs. Oh, good on you, mate. Yeah, good stuff. See, Keezy? <laughs> I can seriously say that the listeners would have loved that, guys. Yeah, totally. Oh, well done, totally. What have you been watching? It's one of the most popular things on this show is just that bit. Um, I watched last night, started watching Squid Games. Oh, the oh, second is that, one. Is that started, well, is I it? I thought it was the second series, but it's actually not. It's a, uh, it's a reality game, so it's a game show, which oh, is yes. exactly the same. But you're not allowed to kill anyone, which is a shame. Because oh. I thought that was some of the best part of the original Squid Game. Absolutely. But four point five million dollars to Price. the winner, and wow. yeah, and they've just recreated all of the sets. Everybody has to live there. It's exactly the same. One sort of down point is the people, <laughs> as it always seems to be with those programs. Is it American. Yes. It's a mix. People seem to be. Oh no, maybe they are American. Yeah. Maybe. Oh no, there's definitely English people there. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, but God, they're annoying. So annoying. Yeah. And I, there's some a couple of nice people, but that's sort of, there's just so much chat, and I just want to see the games. But it's, mm. yeah, it was uh, probably worth a watch. I yeah. mean, obviously, I didn't get through the first episode. Yeah, no, uh, but I can for get most that. people, they would watch it. You see, this is the issue that I have in general with reality shows, as I mm. don't like the people. You know, your CTIs and all that. Don't do mean, Celebrity Treasure Island. Um, thank you, you know, your Taskmaster. It's not that I don't like them. I just, I just, you do. I'm just like. Ugh. Well, I think generally the problems with reality TV shows is it's inane. Yes. You know, there's just like, what are we doing here? I, I like a more intellectual challenge. Yeah, what, sort of thing, yeah eh? what, what did you watch? <laughs> well, actually, last night I went back to something that I've been watching after the party. Oh. Uh, no, the, no, no, but what did you watch with your wife? Oh. Uh, what were you watching with your wife that you were talking about off air? Oh, oh, yes, that's true. We were watching a renovation show. A reality oh, show. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, full but, of shit. <laughs> but I just want to get back to After the Party, a New Zealand production starring Robin Malcolm and uh, Peter Weiss, is it? Um, Something. Uh, it's set in Wellington. Uh, and it it covers a very uncomfortable topic. Yes. Um, and what I actually really am enjoying about this show 
is there's two sides to the argument, and they're giving both sides equal plausibility. Yeah. So you got they're, they're carrying that thread of drama all the way through it, where you're thinking he could be totally legit. And she could be totally legit. Sure. They both seem to have the, a, a reasonable argument, and it's just getting more and more tenuous, and things are beginning to unravel a little bit. Um, I'm really Im- enjoying it. I'm yeah. impressed with that show. It's bloody top quality. I've heard only good things. Yeah, it's really good. I, I recommend it. Uh, last night, I was so tired, I watched half an episode of Country Calendar about some Canterbury farmers who diversified by planting buckwheat. Don't know what happened in the end. Uh, oh. I had to go to bed. Two part. It was yeah, yeah. half an hour long, eh? Uh, they're actually twenty two minutes if you watch it on TVNZ on demand. <laughs> sure. Tell you what though, bloody good, bloody interesting. Good show that. Yeah. The Hodaki Big Show podcast. Bit of mogi for you there, fellas. Mogi. Bit of mogi. That yeah, might have been a mogi. Mogi. Um, used to listen to that quite a bit in my time. Oh yeah. Mogi. Uh, and, and what the was day. the other one that we found out about yesterday that used to play all the time? Wow, well, no, Coldplay. Cold <laughs> Coldplay. <laughs> and and to my eternal shame, uh, Snow Patrol as well for a while. Oh yeah. Hey, but there you go. Hey, now, Keezy, you've been away. Have you heard about Cheers Giving? Thanks to our mates at Super Liquor. I haven't. What's that? Well. You know the Friday Throbber, right? Oh, do I? What? Uh, which just goes off every Friday. Well, Super Liquor got on board, and uh, they gave us a two, $200 cash to give away. So everyone that voted on the Friday Throbber could nominate a legend in their life right. and nominate them for the $200. And if they won, they could give that $200 to their mate. Right. But we've moved on from that now, and now not only do the people get to do that, but if they vote on the Throbber, they also get $200 for themselves. So. If you and nominate, get to nominate someone for two hundred dollars. So you nominate someone, they get two hundred bucks, and yes. then you get two hundred bucks as well. Indeed. Wow, that's pretty cool. That yeah. was pretty good. Right, last week, um, the guy not got two hundred himself and nominated his wife for the other two hundred. See, that's you smart. see that's smart. Smart. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's, saying. that's really that's like a four hundred family bonus. Do, do. Windfall. And yeah. actually, remember, I think. One week before I went away, we did it for the very first week, and it was just the nomination. That's right. And a guy nominated his seven-year-old son who was sitting next to him in the car. Yes. So it's like, hey, super liquor. Here you go, son. Two hundred bucks. Yeah, why not? Smart. Ah, but yeah, they jumped on board and they've enhanced it a little. That's right. Can I can I phrase it this way? They've sweetened the pot. Yeah, eh? that's right. Uh, if you want some more information, I'm pretty sure, fellas, I haven't been here, but you text cheers to three four eight three. You get all the info there on the uh, Great New Zealanders at Super Liquor and the uh, promotion they're running. And also, I'd just like to say cheers to that. Okay. Go on, then. I thought we'd all say it together. One, che- oh. one, one two, two, three. three. Cheers yeah. to that. Thanks, fellas. The Hodaki Big Show, weekdays at four on Radio Hodaki. Well, there you go, your massive backbones. That's your Tuesday show done and dusted. Plans for you tonight, Mogi? Uh, three more, sl- two more sleeps. Two more sleeps, one more day. One more day. One more day of it. Yeah, man, so uh, I'll be glad to see the back of it. The diet. The diet, diet. thingy. Um, I've got one more workout thingy tomorrow, and then all the big measure up on Thursday, and then I'll come dead last, and then I'm just going to be smashing pies. Are you uh, going to bronze up for the measurements and stuff? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> I, I reckon you'd look spectacular if well, you did that. I did or get, oil I, up. I did get my bullors lasered today. Oh, right, okay. Um, and that's all part of it. He said I could leave my T-shirt on, but, yeah, just take my pants off down to my knees. Sure. So uh, he's the expert. Yeah. Who, who's the expert? Oh, just this guy down the gym. He's got his, he's got the latest uh, Warriors jersey. Oh, yeah. What are you up to, Keys? He's still, okay. suppose you want to go home and just put a hat on, put a hat on and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> my new haircut is not that bad, right? I like it. Pug said it was cool, and my wife said it was cool as well. Uh, tonight, probably going to go home, watch the second half of that Country Calendar episode that I only got halfway through about the buckwheat. Uh, I'll probably put my wife to bed, have a small glass of port, play PlayStation. Yeah, great have stuff. You got your mate. gold card yet, man? Yeah, I reckon. <laughs> Gonna put your cardi on? <laughs> I haven't got it yet. Could you guys put in a good word for me? What about your slippers? You got my some Uggs. slippers? I don't wear slippers. Yeah, I'm just going to chill out tonight, fellas. Probably chuck, <laughs> chuck some tin around. Chuck some yeah, tin around make, love. Uh, make love. Make love. Make uh, love. Have you know? Have have a protein shake. And oh stuff. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what are you actually going to do? What am I actually going to do? Yeah, other than that stuff. 
what usually happens is I go home and I uh, give my wife a kiss and we sit down and we talk <laughs> about our day. Right. And then I have some dinner mm. and then I might watch something. Mm. Um, reality TV. Not reality TV, no. Mm. Chat a little bit more with my wife, have a bit of a tutu on the phone. Oh, um, God, that's really dragging on. I really regret you know, <laughs> Then go to the gym, chuck some tin around. Yeah, go okay, make right, um, i got to go. I'll see then, you guys yeah, tomorrow. Maybe do some stretching. Um, what else? Oh, probably a bit of meditation and... Uh,